Invest 90L continuing to move further northeast in the Florida Keys, as is currently located 24.2 south and 80.7 west as of 9 p.m. EDT, May 15th. Right now it has winds of 30 miles per hour, a pressure of 1,011 millibars, moving north-northeast at 4 miles per hour, and has a CDPS stage of 1. On the cyclone destruction potential scale, also known as the CDPS, for Grand Bahama on Saturday morning, wind speeds are expected to be low, storm size is expected to be low, rainfall potential is expected to be very significant, and the overall threat to land is low, making it a CDPS stage 1. Minor damage expected. As you can see right now, it's located right off the Florida coast. It has winds of 30 miles per hour, pressure of 1,011 millibars. Located 24.2 south, 80.7 west. And you can see we have no wind field on it, mainly because it doesn't have tropical storm winds yet. And you can see that CDPS scale minor damage expected for Grand Bahama, where Freeport is. Current watches and warnings are zero. Well, in Key West it is 73 miles away, in Miami it's 112 miles away, in Freeport 205 miles away, Grand Bahama 217 miles away, and Nassau 218 miles away. Right now we do believe it is 30 miles per hour, so does the ATCF and the ADT. Really tight agreement with it, mainly because we don't have recon in it, and not any other organizations are picking up on it as a system. You can see on our cone right now, Invest 90 all we do expect it to uh, keep as an invest for the next 24 hours and then becoming a subtropical storm once it makes it past Grand Bahama, though it could form earlier and that's why we do have that CDPS stage 1 in Grand Bahama, and then becomes a tropical storm as we move into day 3 and day 4, actually peaking at day, day 3 as a 50 mile per hour tropical storm and in 120 hours it is extra tropical. Our rainfall forecast from the GFS, uh, you can see there's a tons of rainfall in the Grand Bahama at the start of it, and then as you, we move further up, we do see it try to convert into tropical, and that's why we do believe in 72 hours this is a tropical storm. You can see on the sea surface temperatures it has right now, a pretty nice comfortable sea surface temperatures, but once it gets farther north where it's expected to develop, it gets really cold, and that's mainly because of uh, it being May and uh, that's why we are expecting it to be a subtropical storm, though it could acquire tropical characteristics as it continues to move northward. For the wind forecast, we can see some wind speeds right off Cape Hatteras there, and then becomes an extra tropical system as we move further on. And then nothing else really happens in the Atlantic, so uh, this is probably the only major feature going right on in the Atlantic at this moment. On our multi-model diagnostic forecast, we can see most models do predict it actually to be a pretty strong tropical storm. Most models do have a consistent of 50 knots, which is 60 miles per hour, and then uh, it decreases as we go further on out as it becomes an extra tropical system. We can look at the deep shear, deep, deep layer shear, which is why, which is mainly why we think this is going to be a subtropical slash tropical system because the shear is going to be nil to a, a bit and that's going to allow for some development into a tropical storm. On our SSTs, it's right now at a comfortable 27 degrees Celsius, but then once we get further out, it's a significant dropout. It could get a bit warmer as it goes on to the Gulf Stream, but even then, it's at 25 degrees Celsius, but it's the Atlantic, so the sea surface temperatures don't matter as much, but it still does have to be warm for it to be tropical. We can see on the track a pretty tight agreement most models making it through Florida from the Florida Keys up through Grand Bahama and then moving northward pretty fast, maybe making a close approach to Cape Hatteras uh, later, or Cape Cod. Here's a look at that, uh, at the satellite imagery. We can see a pretty messy system right now, but we do see some rotation and that new low could form where most of that convection is later tonight or tomorrow morning. Then if we look at the IR right now, we can see a bit of rotation there, a bit of some cold cloud tops, but nothing really discerning. That's why this is still an invest and not a tropical depression or subtropical depression at this moment.